Hello everyone, I'm Raz, co-founder of Blue Dot, and we are building AI Chrome extension for Google Meet. And I recently learned that there are tools on the market that allow you to identify who visited your website. I've tried multiple tools. I want to show you today uh, Snitcher, uh, RB2B, and Apollo. Actually, hey, Apollo has everything, and one of the features of Apollo is actually identifying who visited your website. Let's jump in. First one is Snitcher. I met these guys at SaaS conference in Amsterdam. Quite cool team. I think they've been bootstrapping it. And let's just log in. I wouldn't say we have like lots of traffic, but definitely not small amount. So even for us, after three days of connecting this tool, it already identified 900 companies. So we would have to pay for it already like at least a thousand or something or like 600. Anyway, it's, it's going to be expensive. So you need to make sure that you know what to do with this data. Because for us, Blue Dot is quite a general tool. Uh, we like everyone can use it, like salespeople, engineers. I honestly have no idea what to do with this data because, yeah, I mean, it's nice that someone from Wharton School or Free Trade visited our website, but then what to do with that? In our case, it's not clear. So if you have a product that has a very niche, let's say, um, audience, I think it can be helpful. Like if you build some kind of like HR solution and you know that mostly people who come to your website are hr folks you just take this data put that edit and apollo any other outreach tool get the leads and outreach them but here and yeah i did add that if you want to use these tools uh you need to copy paste the um, pixel that they give you to your website and after that it starts tracking this information but let's look what it shows so it shows me the companies right the size of the company the linkedin profile the youtube uh, location i can see how to share audio in google meet like i can see what the what um web page they visited from where was the source i mean it's as it's nice information but for me it's nice to have i'm not gonna pay for that even though i think the tool is amazing has lots of potential and uh, i think if, if you know why you need that you can definitely get the benefits now let's move to another tool and this is apollo i mean i love apollo for for 50 dollars this guy's giving me so much same thing with Apollo. You need to add the pixel. And once you added the pixel, uh, uh, you go to the search. And in the search, you need to click on the... Yeah, that's... I mean, I pay $50, but even though the user experience is such uh, in Apollo, anyway, I'm still using them because they're the best. Ah, okay. It's only on the company level. Yeah. So you can only find it on a company level because it doesn't show you exact people. It just shows you the accounts. So here, website visitors, boom, apply filters. Now, the period, last seven days, I connected it as like three days ago. In three days, Apollo found 362 companies. So Snitcher found three, almost three times more. It says something, right, about the quality of data that they have. But with Apollo for $50, I get it as a part of my package and immediately can work with this data. With Snitcher, I get this data. I need to export it to another tool. Yeah, and I have to pay almost $100 or more, whatever. So if we go here, you can see that now I can work with this data as basically accounts that I can target. I can select all of them. I can go and find people in this account. I can immediately add them to outreach campaign and do the outreach. I think it's amazing, right? It's it's. Uh, what else do you need? And Apollo is doing a great job. And I'm definitely going to use this. I'm going to, I'm just going to try outreach some of these companies with the, um, maybe I, I will try to target some folks from sales department. I mean, not Microsoft, but smaller teams and founders maybe, but it's definitely a great solution. And now let me show you the final tool, the, the one that really surprised me. I didn't expect it's possible. Like, and I know in Europe it's not, but I didn't even expect them in the US it's possible. And I know that they've been tools on the market that offering the same thing, but the way how they designed the whole onboarding, like RB2B, how easy is that to install the tool? How easy is that to see the value? It just, it's a mind blowing. Honestly, it is one of the few tools that for the last three days, I just go and check people that have found and like know that some people for real visited the website because it's, it gives you the like person level website visitor identity. You can see the people, you can see the LinkedIn profiles. This guy is the luck so yeah, like he just he's just amazing. Like if you don't know him, go and find him on um, on LinkedIn. He's posted a lot of useful stuff. Adam Robinson, he's good. Gonna subscribe. The way it works is that you connect your Pixel, you connect your Slack account, you connect Slack uh, to like Slack channel to RB2B, 
and then every week or every day you get exact people who visited your website it doesn't have the same number of leads that it shows like with the uh, snitcher or apollo because i think it's just harder to identify people on the uh you know person level edification let's go to the price yeah like the pricing is quite interesting so it's either like zero free no download csv no email address right all of this kind of stuff but if you want to push it immediately to apollo blah blah then it's 495 i think it's worth it if you do account-based sales and you need these leads i think it's totally worth it you can see that it really identifies people so this is uh so 5 5 40 p.m uh the linkedin profile of the person the name the title the email i actually shows him an email right now where this person is coming from and the url of the website web page that they visited and i connect with them on linkedin or i can add them to my sequence on instantly that i already created for all the website visitors i mean that's mind-blowing i straight at this the, the campaign i haven't started it because i don't know how to keep this line between being weird you know being like a stalker stalker but uh i i still think this data is just it's just so good uh definitely try these tools if you do any type of uh you know direct sale cold outreach uh, i think it's one of the best uh, thing on the market right now like just gives you such a great signal that someone might need your tool so yeah that's my experience with these tools i, I hope that's helpful i wish i watched something like that before because i had to explore all that stuff myself and yeah, go for it and let me know if it's helpful. Have a good one. Bye.